We're doing something positive for the world. Right. Oh, let's just get into the punishment. How can we start there, Brandon? Okay. Yes. Let's okay. Let's Kick start, it off, Scoops. Let's start the punishment. Okay, so for my punishment, I was forced, forced. to watch seasons one through four of Coach. So far, I've gotten through one and two on stream. If I lose today, I've already been told my punishment will be I have to watch the East and West saga as well. Uh, I'm scared. Here's what I know so far. Here's what I can tell you thus far going into uh, potentially the East and West saga, potentially season three. From the beginning, okay, first and foremost, everyone who can hear my voice right now needs to watch Coach for a variety of reasons. But beginning with, this series is about Tom Grassi, who becomes the coach, the coach of the Packers, okay? But it goes deeper than that. Season one, we are introduced to Tome. Tome, okay? Yep. Tome, the Vikings fan. <laughs> Big beard. Who helps, who helps this man along the journey. He helps him as a coach win some of the Madden games. We also meet Junior, right? Junior is revealed in this episode. And towards the end of season one, we are introed to a malevolent individual, uh, Chamis, okay? <laughs> That's where we're at so far, and there's a fight going on. There's a lot of metaphors in this series. Nothing is as it seems, okay? We also have Jade in this series initially to start things off. All I can tell you is this, because I don't want to spoil it for you. Wild? You guys really need to watch this. All I can say is this. Season three and potentially East and West Saga, we're picking things up with a fight. Okay, it is a fight potentially for your brain, for your brain power, for good and evil. There's a lot of metaphors. That's all I can, I don't want to ruin it for everyone. So I'll just leave it with that. Uh, Kyler Murray. So I wasn't here last week. You guys talked about him getting paid the mm -hmm. massive contract what did you arrive on in terms of a conclusion? Overpaid, appropriately paid. Those are the only two options. Because he definitely um, wasn't underpaid. We did a whole episode. It was titled that, and we never answered no. that question. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's that's why we call it clickbait sport. It's overpaid, but understandable because there's not really a lot of choice there. Yeah. Because, like, you kind of have to. And I like how the story has gone from is he overpaid to wow, this is super embarrassing that they put this in a $230.5 million contract that he needs to do his homework and not watch TV, play video games, or peruse the internet when he's doing it. I'm sorry I'm going to talk about that because, you know, I feel uh, it's necessary, you know, um, with what's going on as far as regarding me and, and the things that are being said about me. Um, it's, it's almost, you know, to think that I can accomplish everything that I've accomplished in my career um, and not be a student of the game, and not um, not not have that passion, and not not take this serious is is almost it's disrespectful, and it's it's almost it's it's almost a joke, you know. Um, it's to me, it's um, I'm flattered, you know. I'm, I'm honestly flattered that y'all think that at my size I can go out there and not prepare for the game, and not um, you know not take it serious it's, it's 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 disrespectful i feel like to my peers to all the to all the the great athletes and great players that are in this league um this game's too hard uh to, to play the position that i play in this league um it's 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 too hard and and i don't do this often i don't talk about myself but today i feel like i have to is how are they enforcing that yeah. are they going to be like at his house and they're gonna be like kyler <laughs> No, you, you studying no, put there? the remote down. Put the remote down. How much he should be paid? Like, he's not the. I have one thing to say about this whole situation. Did you guys see the Antonio Brown clip? 
of him rapping. Oh, oh rapping oh, is just, I, it, oh, without the pleasure of auto-tune? Oh, I saw it for like five seconds. I'm like, I, I no doubt. And he was okay. like thanking the, he was just like, you know, oh, thanks for, for the Buccaneers for giving up on me because now I'm like the greatest rapper. <laughs> I will say Dude, this. that man couldn't even rap a Christmas present. I will you ain't say the best rapper this about are. Antonio Brown. Okay, to, to his credit, and there's very little credit that we can give this man, but to his credit, right, he is living out his life. He's doing something he's passionate about. He is breathing, okay. yes. So, yeah, he's look. living out his dream because he had the money to do it. If, if Antonio Brown left the NFL and became a doctor, I'd put some respect on his name. But like even that statement right there is like that is you putting a preference on doctors. Like doctors. I are, value doctors over yes. musicians. Yes, but like that's your value system. Someone no, else. Matt, no musician has ever put his finger right inside of me, Scooter. Yes. Doctors. Many doctors have. Yes. But I'm saying like a Maybe musician for that. Too. A musician to for someone else might be greater than a doctor because their music helped them get through X Y Z. So it's just. I'm just saying, people have different values. Did you see that really weird fan interaction? I saw someone post that on Twitter, that like, some guy, like Carson Wentz was like signing autographs and stuff, and the yeah. guy was like, can I have your band? Like his wedding band. <laughs> he's like, what? And he's just like, it's just rubber, because it's like one of the rubber ones that like the players wear. And he's like, no, it's mine. Like the guy was dead serious too, about wanting Carson Wentz's uh, wedding band, which yeah. is, you know what? Here you go. That's other etiquette. That's not necessarily for the game training camp. Don't ask players for their wedding band. It's weird. What else do we have on the agenda? What I have today, other than um, I love you guys. That's fair. Listen, this could be a this could be a short clickbait because I do have to prepare. Wait, really? Uh, Was that not even George Pickens? Yeah. Did we just spread misinformation on the internet? (laughs) (laughs) We're done. Nothing like old misinformation. Well, that, we we that love it? some good misinformation. Well, the tweet was George Pickens makes a catch like AB84. Maybe that was the ironic part. Hmm. Was that just an old AB clip? <laughs> wow, way to go, guys. We spread misinformation on the internet. I mean, Scooter well, yeah. does by saying the Cowboys are good every week, but this is a, think, just another level. Yeah, I think you need to be punished, Brandon, for spreading that misinformation. I agree. I... Man, that's tough because you can't you can't even see the quarterback throwing it, so you can't confirm like who is the quarterback throwing the ball. Could be Mason Rudolph. One. Start the countdown. Yeah, that's right. Didn't have enough to fill a full hour. Not even 55 minutes. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 4. How many cowboys are even gonna score? It's zero. That's right, Scooter's about to lose this punishment. And, yeah, I mean, the biggest punishment is just being a Cowboys fan because it's pretty tough. I mean, like, you just go in and out. It's like the Packers, honestly. I mean, it's... Uh, mm. Oh, no, that's me! No! Yes. For the chaos! You know what? Keep it going. We yeah, haven't You know read... what? I'm actually no! happy about that. I'm we happy about anything. that. It's not me. Yeah, keep All right, keep let's going. let's read. Let's read our donos. Yeah. Uh, let's give it uh, five, ten minutes. Twenty. Eleven dollars ninety-eight cents. <laughs> I am safe. Okay. Trace. So, uh, let's let's talk about the yeah. 49ers. Uh, do how it. do you feel about Jimmy Jesus? And how do you feel about Trey Lance? Uh, <laughs> I'm more surprised Jimmy G is still a nine. Now we <laughs> see it. No! Yes. Yes. <laughs> This is such BS. Oh! Hey, 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 hey. You, you had it happen to me last year. So! Oh, no. Oh, no. no. We're just gonna watch the East! Because the fact that we're not done with this show yet, nor have I read how much I. We still have, what, seven minutes to go before? All right, you know what? I'll read mine. No, Tree has to read his first. Okay, okay. Well, I'm at 222.23, so I lose. I was losing to Tree! 
Oh, yes! Yes! I think yes! we need Brandon first. Scooter's Brandon, how much you make? Oh, 11.98. 11.98. Nice. Oh, Actually, yes! that that is that is the that's that's the best that's the best income, man. I'd rather have the least. Get money Scooter Reed, buddy. Come on. Yeah. All right. I feel like all we're doing is just doing a charity drive, and it's hilarious. Oh, so, no, <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> Unless. Unless. Wow. What you at, Tom? No, you're supposed to read yours. What you at, Tom? What's the? <laughs> Yes, we're going somewhere more. What is the first number of your dono? Eight. Is it really? Holy crap! You freaking lose five seventy nine thirteen. Come on. There's no way it's eight. There's no way it's eight. We're at eight hundred seventy one ninety two. Damn! Holy crap! No, oh, we're, yeah. at, we're at we're at nine twenty one now. So, I will be watching the East and West saga. This week, tonight, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, we are watching East Saga. So if you, you got All right, listen, listen, because that's that's a big dono. That's a big dono. So you got to watch East and West. Yeah, so you got to do it in order. So it's got East, the season three, then West, then season four. Okay, okay. got to do that. But you need to also, and this is where you got to pay extra attention, okay. rank your top 10 episodes of the GCU.